Hamburg looks like summer is kicking off on a very high note with a lot of catches coming in from everywhere. A ninth Nike in Cape Town had a fantastic Sunday. Altogether they had 13 bronzy pulls. On his own he had 8 pulls, of which 2 he missed, 3 he landed and the other 3 he allowed other anglers to land. To share this amazing experience in landing this majestical sharks. And then quickly after Tuesday night, Anand was at it again, landing a fantastic bronze whaler. Here yeah, boys, you see Fockel Stern on the mountain here at Golden Bay. Fishing off the But I'm on you. Tighten the brakes here. Yeah. Landing these bigger sharks off the mountain in Cape Town can be quite the challenge. A combination of the angler skills as well as the tackle you use plays a big role in successfully landing these fish. Guys, I'm on with a nice bronzy here, a proper bronzy, on the mountain here at Pockets here. I've been pulling this thing straight stick, full drag, right through. Thought it was a paley in the beginning, but it turned out to be a nice size bronzy, so it's quite close. Fingers crossed that I land it. It's going to be awesome. I threw a nice big yellow tail head with my Sawtest grinder only 15 foot and the Sawtest 8000. So yeah, doing the job. This fish is all over the place, but luckily it's on top, so our chances of landing it is a bit better. Extra care should be taken with these giants landing these big fish on the rocks. Finding a good rock pool is the most advisable. From the south coast of Natal, Josh Pretorius managed a really unique catch, which is a good size grey spot guitar fish and potentially a SA record. Then from Durban North area, Dale Mack got stuck into some grey sharks and some diamonds using his grind elite rod as well as using the new tournament rod. And then in between all the fishing, Jason and some other ambassadors made time to educate some younger anglers on water safety, wading the banks, as well as valuable safety information. This session, as expected with Jason's involvement, was hands-on. This initiative was initiated by Inquasi Club, Dean Reddy and Linton Primlong. Some of these youngsters even got stuck into some really good flatfish at the same time, rounding a perfect morning off. Then Lloyd and Mike Pereira, on a short excursion to the banks at Ntanzini, was rewarded with some great diamond skates. In Durban area, Ryan is at it again, with some hammerhead sharks, smaller sand sharks, and a nice honeycomb ray. Other guys, Monday midday here. We got a Westie coming just now. And we are hot, hot, hot. I'm really sweating and I haven't even fought a fish yet. I'm back at the same place, Beechwood. Same weather as last week when I got that honeycomb, so that's why I'm back. I got my new lucky hat. Did well for me at the banks on the weekend. Uh, similar sort of bait. I'm using a bonnie head. I put it through a dangle. We're going to clip that on the bottom. And throw it as one piece, nice and streamlined. The tackle I'm using today. Dawa Saltus 8000, the new Dawa tournament is going to be available soon. I'm throwing an 8 ounce and a bonnie head. Um, this rod takes a nice big bait and uh, hopefully uh, we catch you later with the rod bending. Right guys, uh, not the target species today but uh, at least it's not a no bite bay. Not my biggest shark in the world but let's go have a look and see what's happened here. How's that for a circle hook doing its job? That's the Mustad 10 0 tuna circle. And uh, got him right in the corner. The small guy. Uh, usually I would use pliers, but I'm not going to use pliers here because the way the hook sets, I'm going to bend it down away from his teeth. Got my dangle and let's put this little guy back.
Oh, um, I'm using uh, the new Dawa 215 foot. Woo! And the Dawa Solstice 8000, 50 pound J Braid, and my new lucky hat. I worked hard for this bite, it's been a long day. I hope I've got enough water in my cooler box. I've got Donnie here helping me. So, how's it, Donnie? Donnie seems to be my lucky charm today. Something, kids. And uh, we'll play this fish nicely and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, good fish, good fish. Now that it's moving, I'm going to try and keep them coming and keep them up. So we'll put maximum pressure. Pull and pump, pull and pump. I'm loving this new Dawa tournament. It's got an awesome action. And it can lop huge baits. Trying to get the circle out the corner. Almost. There we are, and we're gonna put this beauty back. And Rock was back at it the following day. I fished five hours, no bites, last mate, and we are. Right, so this landed this beautiful duck book. You can see why they call it a duck book. Thanks to the friendly beachgoers who assisted Rourke in landing the fish and taking some footage on his phone. And then also on the north coast, Tyron Bain and Jeremy Bain putting in the offshore hours and was rewarded with some nice Dorado. Then on Monday night, Linton Premlal was at it again just north of Richards Bay and got rewarded with a fantastic ragged tooth shark of almost 200 kilos. It looks like it's going to be a cracker summer season. Well done to all the ambassadors. 